for the time cricket grind. I think this is Bork. Holding on. What is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Old School Review, the series where I review skateboarding videos from the past that inspired me. Today we are reviewing Santa Cruz Uprising, which came out in 2001. We are going to skim through this play. First part, Stefan Atardo. We'll probably watch the three parts that I remember the most. Stefan Atardo, um, Lowry, and Jamie Fortune. I also have this weird, like, memory that I already did a review on this video. But I went through my videos, and it wasn't there, so maybe we did a live review on Twitch. Also, when this video came out, I didn't watch it on VHS or DVD or whatever. It was on a TV show on cable called Blue Torch, and every single day that that show came on, they would show another part of this video. So I would try to record each part one by one so I could have the whole video without having to buy the video. Right now, this footage really holds up. We got the ledges, we got the big backside flip. He does great lines. We get the skate park rail, which is kind of pointless to me. Also, they made him look really, I would say bad in this, because they show a lot of falls. For just this part, we go through the rest of the video, you'll see they're not really hanging people out the dry as much as this guy. We get a big nose grind coming up. I do believe, like right here, a flat ground, like not even in a line, front nose, terrible trick, super bad like filler footage when we have these big handrails and they still showed him falling. That flat bar would have been a dream to skate back in the day. Again here, a little like probably 5-0, and then he's not even doing anything here. They're just showing him fall. So maybe that was a lack of, you know, lack of footage. Also, I'll explain something else to you guys. I think the filming in this video is really inconsistent because some of these parts are filmed really good and artistic. You'll notice Jamie Fortune lights up all his spots and they're all at night. And then in the middle, there's a couple of parts that are not filmed good. More falls on basic tricks. This is, um, it's like we have these crazy tricks, right? He did those big handrails earlier. We got the big backside flip. We get the cool ledge tricks. And then they show him like falling, like just trying to roll. Like, <laughs> I mean, at least that's a hard trick. They, they had this lip slide on repeat on every single trailer for this video. Ending with the nose blunt. Nicely done. Is that it? Uh, let's skim through here, see if we can find Lowry. I don't remember everyone's name in this, but the theme for this video was kind of interesting. Look at this kickflip. I'm happy we ended up here. Perfect kickflip. The theme was kind of like weird conspiracy theory, like B-roll footage and noises. I thought that was interesting. Let's hurry up and get through this. Wait, we get a giant crooked grind here. Look at this giant for the time crooked grind. I think this is Bork holding on the whole way in the dark. It's strange to me that no one seems to ever bring up uh, that trick when we talk about giant legendary rail tricks from the past, whatever. Let's find Lowry in here. The music in this video I think is really enjoyable too. For the most part, there's a couple of really shitty songs. We're looking for a goofy guy. This I think is the worst video like part ever from uh, an am or pro. Like, I guess I clicked a part that's really interesting, but it's nothing but nollies and ollies and like small ledge tricks, a 50-50 on like a little uh, filing cabinet. It's just boring as hell. Come on, find the good stuff. We gotta be getting there. This has gotta be it, right? Big ollie right here. This is Lowry for sure. Big old jump. He, um, he mixes it up really good too because we get a lot of like, I call it New York skating, a lot of you're gonna do basic flat bar tricks on a high rail, like right here. But he also does these big rails behind him. And some of the rails he does, you really wouldn't expect the trick that comes, right? You'll see in a little while, there's a gap out to down rail. And you think to yourself, ah, oh, maybe a board slide. He ends up 5 0 it. I'm getting all these memories back right now. Also, look at this, the quality of his B-roll versus the first Stefan Atardo part. Like, this is all nice. Well made, terrible filming there. I always really liked this line because he kind of nose bonks over that pole jam. Giant shove it, 
Imagine being young enough to climb up that fence every time you fall. Yeah, don't sign me up for that. Look at this rail. Huge lip slide. Are you going to get anything else? You would never expect a 5-0 there. And I'm pretty sure later in this part, there's another 5-0 on like a handicap rail that is just out of this world. Now, are the tricks basic? Yeah, but we got some ledges. We got a giant rail right there. We get a big ollie. This guy looks tall. So I feel like maybe the nostalgia is taking over. If I would have seen this part today from uh, Brandon Westgate or something, I'd say, ah, lame. He's just doing a crooked grind. Who cares? Right there, giant 5-0. Nice 360. Speaking of Westgate, uh, really terribly, terribly mobbed kickflip there. Uh, what do we get here? And then just a crooked grind. So, yeah, a really inconsistent video as far as, like, keeping the hype going. The example... Oh, this is terrible. The way that they mixed up the bangers. That ollie was um, really cool. I think somebody kickflipped that recently. Am I right or am I wrong? Last part right here, we get Jamie Fortune. Don't know what happened to this guy. You don't hear his name too much. Then again, you got to remember, this was 21 years ago. A lot of these guys on YouTube, they're like, you're, you're not as good as you used to be. I'm like, okay, like, that's an insult. Yeah, I'm a human being. I'm glad that before you thought I was a fucking robot. I, and for, unfortunately, I age. And everyone does. But look at the fast feet here. The really unorthodox tricks. We're going to get a lot of switch flip, grind, switch back tails. Which for this time, I think was underappreciated. Right there, switch back nose grind. Not a switch crook, switch back nose grind. We get a giant table, uh, 360. Fakey flip 180 right there. Kind of looks gnarly. We got... <laughs> I know, backside flip, blah, blah, blah. Switchback Smith, still rarely see that today. Nolly Varial flip, you don't see that pretty much ever. And he's done, he's not like a one-trick pony either. We're getting the blunt slide down the rail, switchback 180. The big tricks, the small tricks, the ledges, the quick feet right here. The switch backside flip, I mean, later in this we get a switch flip. There's a nice one, switch flip back tail. We get a switch flip back Smith, even though it's done at a skate park. We're talking like... We're talking this guy was was way ahead of his time, and in my opinion, kind of underappreciated right there. The fakey, do we call it tail slide or nose slide? I'm about to get in an argument. Nolly flip nose blunt, and then he does it twice. All right, two different cameras. I, <laughs> Whenever a fakey trick happens, I, I'm scared to argue with you guys, but one thing I will stand my ground on is the rocketness of this nolly flip. Is it an impressive nolly flip? Sure it is, but you know what? I can't unsee how non-leveled that was and this angle doesn't do it much justice still a massive trick terrible decision to film this from all the way down here crouching down and that was the whole video guys okay one more part that i remembered that i want you guys to watch is um well this is cool too this big line right here we get the crooked ryan nolly heel this line for me seems to go on forever at least from what i remember i think there's a switch tray in it too Although I could be wrong, now that I'm, I might be misremembering. We get the nollie flip 180, we get a switch jump over something, or no, wait, what is it? Switch tray right here. The line just goes on forever. A switch flip, and it's still not over. I think lines like this are underappreciated today. You know, people do their one big trick and then it's over. And I wanted you guys to also notice this big rail before I turn off this video. You guys can watch it on your own time, make your own decision about what tricks are good or what tricks are bad, but I I do encourage you guys to get out of your comfort zone and go back and watch videos that are like, okay, boomer, the boomer says the video's cool, but you know what, I think you guys, you think that skateboarding is so advanced right now, and I agree it is, but there's still a lot of crazy shit that was happening 20 years ago, even before my time, 25 years ago, that makes you go, wow, dude, skateboarding's good today, but it's always been good, and I would love to hear your thoughts on that. Anyways, that's the video. The reason we're doing old school review is because once again, everyone who submitted footage for Ninja Review did it incorrectly or didn't make the cut. So if you would like to submit a video of you skating to me to review for Ninja Review, the process is easy. Find me on Facebook, type in Ninja Lifestyle, or find me on Instagram. Send me a message and write, this is for Ninja Review. Then include a YouTube link to the video. Make sure the video is HD. Make sure it's not square footage. Make sure it's not VX footage. Make sure it's not vertical Instagram footage. And all the steps I just said, 
is not the same as saying, click my Instagram and review it. No, that's not part of the process I just outlined. Anyways, I check those DMs once every week, usually on Monday, and I look forward to hearing from you guys. If not, we'll just do another old school review, and I would love to hear maybe a video that you guys would like me to review, and maybe I should review an old school video that I've never seen, but you know what? I was like a skate video buff, so that's gonna be a hard thing to achieve. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. We upload three, sometimes four videos every single week here on Ninja Lifestyle, so subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Kuna Matata, bitches. In the arms.